I am possibly doing as well as I can, to be honest. Toe. Just trying to get through the days as they come, as usual. And to a certain point, that's all I can ask for sometimes. Yeah, so this is a relatively new game that I found. Might not be like new in terms of when it was uh, like produced, but overall, it's like new to me. I've never really seen anyone else play it, so hopefully it's new to y'all as well. Cutscenes. These are always fun. Okay. Yeah, I I want to say from the little bit that I've played, I'm decent at it. I just hope my Yeah. So far it seems that my computer can handle streaming it with like very minimal frame loss. Well, FPS loss. I guess it's both. Well, same. All that. But yeah. Basic premise of the game from what I gleam so far. You go through dungeons, collect items to sell, try to build the town, and work towards something called the fifth door. Supposedly, supposed to be something magnificent behind it, but a bunch of people have died trying to get to it. So, hopefully we're not one of them. Hey Mario, I'm... I'm surviving. That's as, about as much some as I can do some days. <laughs> Especially after that goddamn trash ass interview. Yeah, I had an interview yesterday where the listing said it was for a full-time job, but when I got there, it was only part-time. I mean, yes, it was $16 an hour. It was like, if I wanted another uh, part-time job, that's what I'd be applying for. I'm not applying for a full-time job, I'm trying to find a full-time one. And before I forget... Uh, so this game is about... From what I gleaned from like the uh, 10 or so minutes I've played of it... I, you're basically a shopkeeper. 
Oh yeah. So yeah, not only was it for a part-time position, which it was listed as full-time uh, on the website, I waited like two fucking hours for that shit. So yeah, this game, you're basically a shopkeeper going through No problem, Mario. You're a shopkeeper going through a dungeon. Big surprise there. <laughs> oh, you only have five in that, five in one spot for that. But you are a shopkeeper going through a dungeon, collecting items from chests and monsters that you slay. Yeah, the thing is, I know this part I'm supposed to die, but I want to see how... Ow. Not long. I cannot last very long. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but that section, I'm supposed to die. Because, yeah, I'm supposed to go be going through this dungeon, dungeon with a broom. And from what I gleam, this guy's like kind of a the grandfather figure, because you're the last of your fucking family. The rest of your family is fucking dead. The sorry looking kid, all alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. The only thing that stinks is like some of the. There's a good amount of dialogue in some parts. Yeah, this is the uh, shop area. Even for a mere kid, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. That's the fifth door. There's no doubt you carried the same session as old Pete. Morning, boy. Dare a little merchant buy off more than he could manage. Oh, listen to me. Our truth is this. Spit it out, old man. You were the last of your family. Only one left to run Moonlighter. He said the title. He said the title. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on that on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. That fucking reaction is a fucking Zelda reference. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have a little need for it now. Too bad this bitch doesn't give me the fucking Master Sword. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your... If I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. I remember. Hey, successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. Miss knowing items value as well as its demand. Yeah, supply and demand. Fucking capitalism simulator. Come now, open up, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Herber da herber da her. The item's price just right, it can be a bit more expensive. 
And this one's gonna be too expensive. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Shabba-labba-dub. dub shabba labba ding dong I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when, a, when something is high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant's notebook that should hold all the information you gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Uh, there we go. Triangle. Okay. So yeah, 100, too much. 170. I mean, 100 is good. 170 is too much. So that's falling for the day. I'd best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory. That responsibility falls on you, not I. Ooh, Inke. Pokemon! Okay. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out... <sighs> that new sword of yours. Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Okay. Go now. These weary bones of mine must rest. I had to go back to the mines. I mean, back to the dungeon to gather artifacts. But once I do get back, I'm gonna be fix up the price of those other energized crystals so that I can sell them. Get this, uh, cause I played up to the point where I got the blacksmith. Oh, Inke, you bastard. Oop, let me switch. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. And I have learned that the iron can actually sell for a lot. So it's gonna be a, a good item for a while until it goes into low demand, which is gonna suck. This is what I talk about with a whole lot of like dialogue. All these notes have like a crap ton of stuff. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from that from the strange creature across the room. A pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though, I'd say I'd fair better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled, one of which is his map diagram. Wherever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete. Then gone lost his marbles. But I was right! Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be able to around to see the door open. To have found me. I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Big boss is gonna kill me. I suppose. 
Is this purposely messed up English? Or did whoever write this not read over it? Because they're missing a word here. I was supposed to let them all out. Not to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Oh, it's purposely done like that. Okay. Big boss is gonna be so upset with little me. Okay. So I got a bit more exploring to do. Hibidoo. Hibidoo. Or not. I guess. I guess this door is a big ol' fuck you. Slurp. Well, kinda of gained a bunch of money from all this fucking iron that I have. Though I do have to be a bit careful with it. Don't wanna. Like the old man said, don't wanna flood the market with the iron, cause then it'll lose, it'll lose value. But I should be able to get like an easy 200 from 10 of them. Ah, uh, young proprietor of Moonlighter. The young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You you found old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now I know some posts on that town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Ryoka. Nexus indeed. Nice. Okay, time to check out this town board. Here we here here here. Investment towns. Wooden hat. Brute force not getting anywhere. Uh, potion enchantments. Uh, more interesting in people. Making your money work for you. Trust your money. Ah, uh, the banker. Uh, let's see. And uh, the shop upgrades. Holy crap. Well, let me set up my stuff real quick. Go. Enter there. Yep. I grab all of it. Yep. And these. So, I'll try four per each. These, let me try. Let me try ten on these. Before I do anything else, make it bunch of this stuff in here so it's not clogging up my inventory. Especially all these fucking branches. Roots. Whatever. There. I keep forgetting to check the uh, quick move. Okay, yeah, looking at that. Well, time to go to sleeps. And then, where's the leaf? I 
put this up away just to pull it back out. I do you want to get some of this stuff with prices in the book? Okay. Time to be a merchant. Okay, so... 10 each is a decent price. So 8 is... I mean, 4 each is a price where... I could actually, based on their reaction, I could probably... They loved... They thought 20 was a steal for that, so... For the iron. So let me actually double the price. See what I get. See what I can get them for. The vines, if I remember correctly, 5 was a bit too, too rich for people's blood. Branches. So three is a great deal for people for branch. Okay. So two hundred is too forty for each is too much. Two hundred is a sweet deal to people. Okay, so two per vine is a good deal. So 110 is a good deal. See, that's the issue. I flooded the market iron too quickly. So now it's a low necessity. And the price has gone down. But what people will set for it. Okay, I'll say after this, I will close the shop. I'll go ahead and leave. I'll grab the blacksmith. So I can focus on getting better gear. <sighs> Let's see what exactly do I need for the uh I you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge? My name is Andre. Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Okay. Four cloth. Three Foundry oh, I need four thousand gold anyways. God damn. Okay. Time to head back to the dungeons and try to get the stuff that I need. Time for pain. So I need fabric, foundry iron, or foundry metal, whatever it's called, and then 
I think it's a. I can't remember what it's called. I've not really looked at it. Some of the stuff in my inventory. Whenever I've gotten it. Crystal, which is a new item. So, up to. Okay, so it's. Boundary Breast. And what's this? Ancient Pot? Okay. That should sell for a good bit. Jellies. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh. a kind of a horrible spot to put that thing. Oh, come on. There we go. Nothing. Okay. Let's see. Get that thing. Oop. Assassin! Holy shit, my dude. Luckily, this thing I can actually pause. How's it going? I almost tried to SO you a sassy instead of your actual name. How's it going? How's it going? I am. Um, Wrong button. Trying to survive dungeon crawling for capitalism. Okay. So it's in here. Oh, origin pots. Oh, are you back uh, playing Siege today? Oh. Ah, motherfucker. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ed Jordy. Holy shit! <laughs> a 50 rated and a 92 raid! Oh god! Oh! Oh god, this is. This is gonna be. <laughs> and thank you for the uh, follow, Corpse. I appreciate it. Let me get this. Uh... Uh, let's see. I will chance it with another room before I... Oh, well, it'd be better if I didn't, you know, dive into a hole. Ow. Or walk into bullets. Okay. So that was each of y'all's streams. Uh, uh, Jordsy, if I remember correctly, when I was watching you were playing Rumbleverse. 
I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, I'm glad that I finally got everything fixed up to be able to actually, like, play other games other than Stardew. I'm glad that, uh, yeah, I think it was Confidential Doc that helped me with it. I just had to, like, uninstall a lot of the games that I had that were taking up a lot of, uh, space on my computer. Though I am... I am still a bit salty about the interview. I'm gonna be salty about the interview for quite a while, because... It pissed me off. Waiting two hours just to learn that it wasn't the position that I was looking for. Fuck you. Oh. Okay, bring that over here. Bring it over here. Come on. Over here. Thank you. Now you may die. Okay, so that's all of this dungeon. Let me break these pots, see if they have any health potions in them. Okay, I think I've made it out with a good haul this time around. Hey, Delisha. Oop, I had to go back to... And thank you for the uh, follow uh, Chaotic Empress. We are slowly making, making our way to my uh, 200 follower goal. And then after that, I can work, hopefully, on the uh, subscriber goals. Yeah. It's... It's going well. It's... The main benchmark of it going well is the fact that I can... Is actually keeping it up to uh, 30 FPS. And thank you for the uh, follow HD. Only thing probably is these loading screens. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'll probably cool it on the iron for a little bit because the market's a bit flooded. Let me grab these. Uh, let me go with 50. Check, see how that goes. Another hydrate. Okay. Hydrate number two, this stream. Uh, this I will price at 30. These I will price up at 20. And these. I'll grab that hydrate. I don't know why my sound alerts decide to work sometimes and not other times. Cause my Yeah, I'll be sure to refund your points. It's like I guess my sound alerts. Uh, thing is off. The source. I don't know. That's the only thing I can guess for it. <laughs> don't burn all your points on hydration. So they'll still, they'll take it at 40 still. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, goddammit. 
I don't know why it keeps going offline. Okay, so 50 is a really good price for those. Let me put these in. Yep. Uh, and these I will put for ten each. See if those sell. Hydration number four. Okay. Let's see how. Okay, so that's a pretty good price for those. Hey, OG, I appreciate the lurk. Let me try bumping up the price by one. Bumping this price up by one. Price by two. And then I'll probably head back to the dungeon. Okay. So three seems to be a decent price for those, for the vines. Let's see if they'll take the roots. Okay. So four is. Probably base for the roots. Five. Oh, wait. There was only one. Oh, okay. Okay, let me close the shop. I'll put away these. Six hundred sixty-seven. Damn, went over. <laughs> I'll go ahead and. Put that stuff away. <laughs> and my question now is what do I need for this banker? Oh. So I need 500 for that. What do I need to upgrade the shop? 8,000, 2,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000. Oh gosh. It's gonna be quite a bit. Uh, uh, 8 speed, 30 health. And this is mainly health. Oh, there's. That actually decreases speed. Okay, so that boosts speed. Let's see. Okay. Uh. So these are all four thousand. Fusion Big Sword. Uh, so I need broken swords. Uh, I'm good. Like I said, I'm Glad to be able to stream something other than Stardew. I mean, Stardew is good, but after a while, it gets it gets a bit boring. Hey, Strike, how's it going, my dude? And hey, Tubby. 
Uh, let me go ahead and while I wait for this to load. Strike. Get some of these shoutouts out. Tubby. Yeah, I found it uh, on stream. I mean, on Steam through a. Uh, it was discounted. So, figured I would grab it. Okay. Ow. So do I need to attack while it's... Okay, yeah, attack while it's attacked. While attacking. Okay. Clutter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, broken swords. Get that stuff into my inventory. I should really need to. Ah, fuck. God, I hate these things. These big slimes are an issue because, yeah, they they don't do damage, but they hold you still. Four other things to do damage you. I need more potions. So yeah, that tailor might be good. Yep, come here, come here. Don't fall off. I hate the rooms of the slime because it's just the slime just slows you down so much. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay, I want to get rid of these small slimes before I go after this one. What's in here? Ooh. That's a healing pool. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms of chests holding our most basic tools are keep vanishing. Uh, well, let's calm down. Hey, Hierophant, how's it going? Let me go ahead and. Do that. Hopefully, it will. Very uh, corpse. And placid. I think. I, I don't know if I've done poor shit. Porsche, S.O. Attic, Empress. I think I've. Uh, let's see. So. Uh, I haven't. I'm good, Akuma. How are you? I haven't really tried uh, Call of the Lamb again yet. Because the last time I did, it was lagging pretty badly. I mean, it might do better now. Uh, since I have uh, fixed up my computer a bit and... Okay. This ow. I mean, I'd hope if I dodged. Better than that. Ow. I. I usually have no issue with this boss. 
I'll check who followed after this. Okay. <sighs> okay, thank you for the uh, follow, Kuma. Let me just grab everything. Uh, before I leave, let me get into this, because this heals me up. Okay. Uh, let's see, there should be more that I need to explore. The arm! <laughs> Another raid! <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate it. Get rid of those two. I mean, honestly, now that stuff is just like overall seemingly doing better for me, I might retry Coil the Lamb. See if I've and check if I've fixed the issue with it. Cause I hope I did. Cause it's a fun game, and I want to like, ow, asshole, asshole. I want to like stream it and like interact with you all through that. That's it's going well. I've. I've yet to, uh, die. Uh, let's see, go back down. Though I think I am out of health potions. Hup. Ow, you know what? Fuck, first things first. Get rid of that asshole. Because now I can focus on this piece of crap. Ow, fuck. See anything over here? Oh. Uh. Hey, Don. Uh. <laughs> Let me get some more of these shoutouts going. So how's the stream, Zion? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna chance it. I don't wanna lose everything. Let me go ahead. SO Templar. Okay, yeah. <laughs> This was hectic, to say the least. No problem, Templar. It's the least I can do. Everyone here is such a wonderful bunch. Thank you, Will. I, uh, on my, like, original server, my nickname on there was Cat with a Gat. Let's see, hardened steel. Let me go with 50 per each. Uh, energized crystals. Oh, empowering crystals. And this. 
I'll put it right there. Okay. So now that I can uh, take a little break from all the insanity. This is so out. As I go, I'll probably look into uh, seeing if someone can, like, do something new for me. Alright, Anita? Hope your day goes well. Because I do want to see about uh, doing something uh, for like Halloween. I like different uh, logos for each time. Trying to like keep. Uh, Keep some level of dialogue up while I try to, like, think of, like, the decent prices for each item. Okay, so... 20 per glass lens... is a good price. Let me go ahead and... Put some back out. Put these out. Okay, seems like the whole capitalism part of this thing is simple enough. Just gotta try not to get wrecked. Can I? Uh, actually, I'll keep that on me. Pick up the whole thing. And I'll put that out. Go back here. Uh, let's see. Put these out as well. That, that, that. Okay. This is probably gonna be the last few things I sell before I go to the blacksmith and see about upgrading some stuff. Okay. I can upgrade my stuff, and uh, then get the tailor. Sorry, be able to actually like buy potions. Okay. Close shop for the day. Over a thousand gold in one day. Oof. Okay. So, let's see, what exactly do I need for. That is. Okay. What is it that I have right now is the question before I get it. Okay, I already have the training 
playing short sword. If I can talk, that'd be great. Okay, so that's training big sword that decreases my speed. Training gloves. Training bow. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually gonna just go ahead and open up this tailor. The wooden hat. Okay, let's see. What exactly do you offer? Uh. Oh, a customer. My apologies, it's just this book. It's so good. Okay, yes. I am Eris, weaver and potion master. Come to the wooden hat, we need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Okay. okay I'm going to Grab these potions, and I'm gonna run back to the shop, put my stuff away. Uh, thank you for the, uh... <laughs> Putting a chime on the fucking broom. Thank you for the, uh, contribution to the, uh... Totem? Uh... I do hope we can get back to the Cult of the Lamb. Oh, well. Try a test stream probably later today, like after work, to see how it runs. And if it runs well, I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely see about uh, starting it up again. Another hydrate. I think that's number five. The stream. Okay, so there's no ammo. Okay, so this bow. Another hydrate. Number six, I believe. I think I honestly just need to have a hydration counter. Many other people have death counters. I need one for hydrations. Okay. So I need empowering crystals to enchant stuff. So the bone arrow is probably best against like the golems because the flying stuff just travels a bit too fast for the bone arrow to be like useful without being hit. Oh, I'm gonna lose that. Time. Just wanted to make sure. 
I need a item that removes curses. Okay, let me go to my inventory real quick. I Try me, bitch. Hey, Walker. I appreciate you coming in. I'm pretty good. My chance trying to... My chance apparently trying to drown me. But it's all good. Because... I welcome it. Okay, got the SO. Let's see. And then let me S O Bobster. No, you're both both playing Valorant. Okay. Hip it, hip, hip. Fuck it. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Can't fuck up these rolls. I fucked up the roll. No problem, you two. Okay, so definitely have to work on a balance between using the bow and arrow and rolling, because that's where the issue comes in. Ooh, they close. Okay, let me get over to that thing. Get that taken care of. Okay, thank you. Or not, I guess. Hup. Hup. Ow. Okay, golden cores. I'll probably. I have to wait on putting these golden cores up in my shop because I don't want to oh blow the uh you made it. thank you for the follow Aiden much appreciated hey Novalone thank you for the lurk I appreciate you stopping by I wish I had health potions, but that's neither here nor there. Please. Switch over. Oh. Um, okay. Oh! Didn't realize it spawned me all the way at the back of the fucking beginning of it. Okay. And it's dealt with. Fuck you. Okay. Uh. I mean, I suffered my first uh, death on stream. Mainly because I was being a bit cocky with the bow and arrow. But other than that, it's pretty good. Okay. Hup. 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 Get rid of those two. Get rid of that one. That's it's going well. Got uh, three raids so far this stream. Let's see. Okay, I already have a spot for the. Uh, um, what is that line? Ooh.
Uh, huh. Guess that line's not meant for much. Uh, okay. Oh, great. It's another fucking book. So... I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves. I did what any sensible person would do in this situation, and smacked it right back. Addition seven? It chattered upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart, the core, as we can call it. It was one of the many unique treasures that I can have only found in this dungeon, dropped by a guard unique only to this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment, a culture all its own. Oh, hey. I'm glad someone's actually coming, keeping count. Because I sure ain't. Uh. I am contemplating whether I should chance it with this next room or not. Yep. Ooh. Get away from me. Okay. Okay, so source one artifact curse. What could I use to destroy? Uh, okay. Sit here. <sighs> it's like the two hundred followers goal is a big one, and then apparently I had to get fifteen subscribers before I can move my before I can actually have like follower emotes. Which is a pain, because I I just want I don't really want you guys to have to to subscribe to have to use my emotes. Okay, a bunch of water lamp water lamps. Uh, let's see, golem volume. Let me try a hundred on that. And then, quick move the rest of this stuff. Oh. So there's my potions that I could have, I could have used. I could have used. And then, sleepy time. Okay. Time to open shop. I stand. And I wait. Okay. 160 is still pretty good. Probably even a little low for it. weapons. Unfortunately, I don't have weapons on me. 
Oh, 100 for the volume is good. Okay, let me go grab some stuff from Buck. Uh, let me see about what I can sell these for. Grab this. I have more of these. More of these. Uh, and I put this out. This out. Uh, let me see what is iron at right now. Is iron back at neutral, 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 neutral? Oh, it's high. It's high. Okay. Time to, time to put some iron out. Okay. Let's see what I can get as far as this iron. Five. Five. Oh. Grab that. Put that there. That, put that there. Okay, let's try these prices. Ah, oh, 200 is too much, so. Okay. Uh, let me try. 150. Okay, 150 is good. Another hydrate. And that should be nine. Okay. Let's see, is iron still in high demand? Okay, yeah. Still high demand, so I'll put more out. Test this price. Okay. So the cell, I can get the cell bin or one of the shop upgrades. I go. Probably gonna so. Uh, I'll leave that there. No. Let me grab these. Place them out. And I think this is going to be Hey Pink, I appreciate the lurk. Okay, so that's a I can actually probably put that price up a bit.
Shop for the day. So eighteen people have these. Okay, fourteen hundred gold. I need four thousand gold to. Great to the next item. Hey noob, I appreciate the lurk. Yeah, I'll grab that. And back to the dungeon I go. before then. Uh, simple way I can explain it, it's Dungeoneering and Capitalism. But uh, you basically go into a dungeon, fight monsters, collect artifacts from them, uh, then you sell that stuff, and you uh, have to gauge the prices to get the best you can without uh, deterring customers. Uh, you also have to worry about supply and demand, so if you put too much out at once, the demand for the item will go down, so you have to lower the price. Like how the iron was in high demand, so I could actually charge higher for it. Uh, but the... From what I'm getting from it, uh, you're trying to like defeat the boss of each dungeon to get a key. To open what's called the fifth door. Beyond that, I am not too sure, because I've... I only started really playing this game yesterday when I was testing it out to make sure it would actually stream well. Oh, you asshole. Fuck off. That attack me, I didn't say hit me. Take those. Oh no, that's another book. Uh, they're like moths, like moths to the flame, I tell ya. These adventurers, so many attracted to the dungeons, so many to only feel a burn. Luckily, if you pass out of the pass out of the dungeon, dungeon from a pain, for exhaustion or pain, it spits you out eventually. It's a messy ordeal. No one really knows what happens, but one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon, with only a small trace of slime nearby, and, well, any injuries they might have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight, me looking for a big payday. That really is so, there's really so much more to these dungeons though. <laughs> I 
Gundam Reyes' projectile reached me. Ah, oh, you fucker. Okay. You have like what? One health? Fuck off. Potions. Oop. No, this is not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay. I don't know the pattern for. Death number two. Okay, more hardened steel. Thank you for the alert, corpse. I very much appreciate it. Ow, oh, bastard. Bastard man. No, not to fuck with those areas quite yet. Because they'll fuck with me right back. And usually, it seems like they'll just fuck me up. Okay. I don't want to die again, so. Let's see. Oh. Wonder what that item. What those are. Another hydrate? Oh, 
Let's see. Gold runes. Don't tell me I've lost my health potions. Free. Yeah, the four keys. What's this? Oh, it's another chest. Okay. Yeah, I think, honestly, that felt like a good place to end the stream before I get dragged into a whole nother dungeon. Let me check about someone to raid out to. I honestly feel like this was a pretty good stream. I'm a bit proud of myself, seeing as I was able to uh, keep up a dialogue of sorts throughout most of it. Uh, looks like we can raid out to uh, Mental Cracks. sure that's actually gone through. Then there's the raid message. I say like, you would think that a butterfree would be a lot easier to catch. Anyways, I appreciate everyone coming out to the stream today. I hope we can show uh, mental the same amount of love today. Gotta pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> 